guys welcome back to my channel so today I have for you five alternate ways to use makeup so if you're interested in watching these awesome hacks then keep on watching okay so the first hack that I'm really excited about is using a powder as a dry shampoo i read somewhere that powder was actually the very first kind of dry shampoo and it makes sense you know it's powder it can absorb those oils so you have to make sure that you use a mattifying powder that way it can be really good at absorbing the oils and i find that this is a really good mattifying powder so what you want to do is you know section out your scalp and just apply powder at the very roots and then just massage that powder into the root it will absorb the oils immediately and so i just want to say that you know these things that i'm mentioning to you now this isn't something that that i suggest you using every day or as a permanent routine for you but let's say you ran out of dry shampoo you don't have time to go to the store and you need to get ready in a pinch this is a lifesaver so powder for your scalp as a dry shampoo is a great alternative my next tip for you is using an eyeshadow to cover up roots or to cover up bald spots you know i don't have the thickest and the fullest hair anymore you know with aging you lose hair at the same time gray hairs are starting to pop out now that i'm nearing 40. i've used the the l'oreal root touch up which is such a good um, spray to use when you need to touch up your roots and i actually have a product empties videos about that so you can go and check that out i'll put it up in the cards right here when i find myself running out of that l'oreal root touch up this eyeshadow from Lorac pro 2 is a lifesaver so i use the color black what i like about the Lorac powder is that it's very creamy so i know it's gonna stick onto the hair and to the roots really well it's not going to just be sitting on top and fall off the oils mixing in with your hair i feel like that's really the glue that keeps the color or the eyeshadow stick to your roots i especially like to use this for covering up my bald spots so like sometimes when i film where my hair is put up in a bun you know you can clearly see that i have bald spots right here like i have thinning bot hair around the the sides of my head right here and what i do is i use a very dense brush so this one is a mineral powder brush it's pretty dense right there um and it's just enough to cover that spot i like to tap in the brush onto that area and just you know tap 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 it and and then it just covers that kind of lighter area love that about it i think this is one of the best hacks that i can tell you guys also try to make sure to use the right color or the closest color to your hair great alternative i've done it many many times and you can't notice the difference you know it's as though you have a fuller set of hair even though you just use an eyeshadow actually this hack has been around for many years i've heard about it but i thought i'd mention it again you can use lipstick as a color corrector and so for my skin tone i like to color correct the dark circles under my eyes with a orange or dark salmon color this dr brand is a very expensive um, eye primer and it's supposed to remove the dark circles under the eyes and i find that this is actually not a very good um eye primer when you put something under your eye your eyes you want something that's kind of moisturizing so you don't want to pick a mattifying lipstick um this one is from ColourPop, and it's in the color foolish it's like an orangey um salmon color if you can see that right here if you are lighter then you want to pick a more salmon 
pinkish color under your eyes and then apply your foundation over it. So if you happen to run out of concealer, um, if you happen to run out of your favorite eye cream, use your lipstick. Go look into your collection, find a lipstick, even a reddish one will work. Just make sure that it's a creamy, not dry, because when it's too drying, it can be heavy under the eyes. This lipstick is a good color corrector. So highly, highly recommend it. Next tip that I have for you is using an eyeshadow as a brow pencil or using an eyeshadow to fill in your brows. So I love that hack. So all you need is um, whatever it is that you use to do your brows. So for me, I have a lot of brows. 90% of the time I apply brow gel and that's it, I'm good to go. But when there's an extra special occasion and I wanna define my brows more, this is the perfect alternative to use an eyeshadow as a brow powder or just to fill in and define your brows. So as you can see on the video, I use this Milani brow um, brush and you have this really nice angled flat brush right here and so i use it to kind of draw a line at the bottom and at the top of my eyebrows and then fill in with the eyeshadows for those of you who can't walk out the door without having their brows on sometimes you run out of brow pencil or or sometimes brow pencils can get expensive i usually wait for them to go on sale because it's not an immediate need for me if you have a lot of black or dark eyeshadows lying around why not use it what i like for my brows is of course pick a matte eyeshadow first and um i didn't want it to be too warm like this one right here um, I didn't want it to be too red, you know, just find the one that matches your hair color the most and then maybe go a shade lighter. And I love the color taupe on my eyebrows because I don't like it to be really harsh, I like mine to be more natural. And so I like it to be almost the same color as my hair or a little bit lighter, a little bit more taupey or grayish in shade. So I didn't go for the actual, you know, like the black um, eyeshadow. I went with the darkest brownish, cool brown eyeshadow that I have. Highly, highly recommend this one. I have it on, it looks perfect. I have great brows today, so I love it. Last but not least, I'm sure it's nothing new to most people, but I feel like I discovered it myself. I was doing an eye look, my eyes were totally yellow. I was doing a video about sunscreens and I'll put that up in the cards here. And basically, I felt like none of my peachy nude blushes just worked with the eye look. That day when I didn't own an orangey colored blush, I went into my eyeshadow palettes. I looked for a kind of terracotta orange eyeshadow that I could find and use that as a blush. So let's see if you can see that here. Okay, more on the orange side, but it's not too loud. And so I felt like that was the perfect um, orangey color that I needed. And so I have that on. It's not too, too bad, right? This would be great for um, medium to dark skin tones. And I love it. Since I don't use like an orangey blush that often, it's perfect to kind of just use an eyeshadow as a blush. Now my goal is to really have the most use out of my makeup because I have a lot and I like to own a lot and I like to try new things. And so the best way to use up um, my makeup products is to um, use them in alternative ways. So, so I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here i post videos once a week so please consider subscribing comment down below any kind of makeup hacks or other ways that you've used makeup i think that would be really interesting if you put all our you know makeup hacks down in the comments below so please check that out all of the products that i've mentioned are in the description box below and that's it guys i'll see you back in my corner soon bye